What's up, Tech? I'm Sky, and I just had a bunch of fun playing Firefall. So, what is Firefall? You probably already know. Firefall is a game that's been in development hell forever. Lots of people have been wanting to play this game, and now it's open! So, what has changed? What has stayed the same? Well, basically, the overall aesthetic has stayed the same, but there has been a shift of focus from the competitive PvP, because this was going to be a esports-ish game, and it still might be in the end, but the focus has not been on that lately. What it has been on is PvE content and the whole RPG aspect, exploration, stuff like that. So, Firefall, if I had to describe it easily, it's Borderlands mixed with Planet Side 2. It's similar to Borderlands in its aesthetic in that it's a cartoony shooter, it's cel shaded it's comical, and it has RPG elements, but it's also like Planet Side 2 with its open world massive scale PvP and sci-fi setting. Not only that, but it has massive open world PvE. One thing to mention about Firefall is that there are quests involved. You don't just have your episodic adventures, you don't just have the open world stuff, you also do have your normal quests. The difference is that there is some voice acting, the voice acting is extremely cheesy, let me say that. The quests are also really cheesy, but it's like that because they kind of are just generated. There's lots and lots of content that is just constantly generated, so at first it's going to see a little bit simplistic. It's just really filler quests. It's better than most quests, honestly, with just pages and pages of filler text. You can tell that Firefall takes inspiration from pretty obvious tropes in the sci-fi genre, but gameplay-wise, it's actually fairly unique. For instance, it's an open-world game, very much so, but the entire globe is not up for exploration. Instead, players must fend off what is called the melding, which I think is a really interesting mechanic, which inhibits movement into certain areas. It's the shadowy vortex of energies that you just cannot penetrate unless you have certain prequisites met. You can push back the melding and do limited time events, such as raid bosses, and with updates sometimes the melding will actually clear permanently to show off new zones. Another nice mechanic to the gameplay is how you can switch classes at pretty much any time. The classes of Firefall are called battle frames, and this is the armor that the player wears which determines abilities and weapons. As you can expect, the class abilities, strengths, and weaknesses work well in groups. It is an MMO, but also know that each class is actually pretty solo friendly thanks to the mobility of the game. You have jetpacks, you have jump pads, you have all sorts of crazy sci-fi things that allow you to pretty much escape any situation. However, players are rewarded for not running away. One of the main components of Firefall is the act of resource gathering. You need resources in order to craft and research different items, and it's a great way to make money. You can place down devices called thumpers in areas with minerals that you want to mine. It's actually pretty cool. You can pretty much put a thumper down anywhere, but you might want to put it down where there's minerals that you want, either lots of iron or lots of whatever else. The downside to this is that, well, when you place down a thumper, it kind of attracts a horde of monsters, so that's a thing. Players must defend their thumper in order to receive the reward. The longer you stay, the bigger the reward. Also, you can get different size thumpers in order to collect more. You also receive a portion of the reward for helping other players defend theirs. In fact, most of the open world questing actively rewards participation with varying levels of prizes of how well you did during the event. Very similar to Guild Wars 2. It is shell shaded and its shell shaded glory spits some pretty awesome particles, effects, lighting, and color all over the place, especially at night, which it does have a heavy spec requirement for comfortable play, I have to admit. I personally had to play on all low, but if you can play it, it looks pretty great. For an MMO shooter, I'm gonna say it does run pretty well. You have all sorts of players zipping around with jetpacks and vehicles, smashing all sizes of bugs and monsters, all the while with open world questing spontaneously activating all around the players. So, it does feel like an open world, that's what counts. The downside is that there really isn't a single necessary narrative that drives the experience, like in Borderlands, but there is a main story sort of strewn throughout the gameplay, and there's even episodic missions that players can experience. But the core of Firefall, basically, is you jump in, you blast bug guts all over the place, you kinda let the game take you where you want. You can use gliders to fly around, there's even real-time transportation with aircrafts, and you can even have player-controlled vehicles, which are, it's pretty satisfying. Overall, the game feel itself is worth trying at least once, and it has this unique and colorful world building that I think is going to keep players playing. So, what is Endgame? What is the worth of keeping on? Well, I don't really know necessarily, this is the first impressions, but I do know that there are legendary monsters to fight. The economy seems easily accessed, and the open world gameplay is also easily accessed because of the mobility, so it's pretty easy to go different places and to level up, I think. The open world PvP is pretty much a constant struggle for dominance and resources, so we can see this being like a, a clan specialization kind of thing. Probably not competitive, maybe pseudo-competitive. Probably not as competitive as Planet Side 2, but 
Definitely nothing eSportish, but maybe we'll see arenas, but right now all there is is there's raid bosses and pretty much the whole game is just focused around resource gathering. So that's where the PvP comes in, that's where fighting these monsters comes in, that's where pushing back the melding comes in. It's all about getting to these different areas, killing these monsters, killing these people so that you can get these resources in order to make new items. And I think that works really well. An MMO that focuses on economy sounds like EVE Online and I think it's gonna work. Plus it has really awesome shooting mechanics and the game feel just feels awesome. As long as we keep getting new places to explore, new bosses to harvest, and new minerals to mine, I think that it's gonna be great. We're gonna be able to craft new class upgrades, weapons, and we're gonna be able to make all sorts of different things that's gonna show off our bug gutting skills to our friends. And that's what Firefall is all about. So guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe so that we can keep on putting out new first impressions of new games. Also keep looking forward to more Firefall content that we'll have coming out. Thanks for watching again, I'm Skyline Shore with Attack Gaming, we'll see you again later.